about to close right. in Arizona. Yeah, and speaking of those energized by the direction of the president, uh, we're going to head out to Michael Doudna. He is live at the GOP headquarters. Hey, Michael. Hi there, guys. I'm live with a former Republican chairman, Randy Pullen. Thank you so much for joining us. And of course, we've seen a lot of results start to slowly come in, at least when it comes to the early ballots. How are you feeling about tonight, especially when it comes to the big Senate race everyone's focused on, Martha McSallen? I am feeling pretty positive about what's going on right now. Uh, the Republican turnout today in Maricopa County is 12 points higher than Democrat turnout. It'll be a little tighter in the rural counties, but still, that is a very good lead for us in terms of what's going on. So my expectation is that we'll have a McSally victory tonight. So when it comes to this, I mean, you also, you've been a part of these races before. How does this kind of compare to what we've seen in the past when it comes to the voter turnout, the separation? Because in a lot of the early ballots, it was a lot tighter than a lot of midterms. Uh, but what do you really feel like what you've seen with so far? Well, uh, going back to like 2010 when I was chairman, uh, we had about the same uh, level. Statewide, it was about 10 points. In Maricopa County, we were 12 or 13 up. So it's pretty similar to what we're seeing tonight. And so it's all very positive uh, for air here for us here in Arizona. So that's why I'm looking for uh, up you know down ballot. We're going to have a lot of Republican victories tonight. Now, one more question about the Martha McSally. You said it was going to be a little bit tighter in rural areas with that separation. Yes. Uh, and we talked a little bit before off cam about health care. I mean, that was something that Kirsten Cinema right. really campaigned hard on. Yes. What was the focus for you at the end of this election when it came to trying to maybe swing some of those votes back to uh, uh, McSally? Yeah, that's exactly right. It was health care. Uh, I was the treasurer of a super PAC. We worked very hard in rural areas to make sure everybody understood that McSally was strong on health care. We had uh, Kelly Ward did ads on behalf of McSally, uh, as well as Jan Brewer. Uh, so that was all very, very positive. We got a, a lot of good uh, response from that. And so that's why we're pretty confident that it's going to hold and that we'll see a McSally victory tonight. Now, we talked a little bit about down the ballot races. Yes. and. You know, there's a big little kind of it's a five four split right now in favor of Republicans for Congress. What that's is tight. the look yeah, what is that looking like later on this evening? Well that's one we're gonna be watching very carefully. Uh, it's gonna be I think that it'll be tough. I don't think we're gonna win McSally's seat with a Republican, but I think we've got got a good chance with with Wendy. Uh, in District 1, so I think that we might still end up with a 5-4 advantage here in Arizona. Overall, I'm, my expectation is, based on a lot of uh, feedback I've gotten, is that we're probably going to have at least a five-seat advantage in the House, in Congress. What are you talking about overall in Overall, Congress. we'll have a five-seat advantage when it's all said and done. Uh, my last question for you, of course, we're talking to the ex-GOP chairperson, Randy Pullen, and when it comes to this, what does it mean to actually have this kind of victory parties? What's the atmosphere like, and what do you really want to see later on this evening? Well, I've talked to quite a few people here tonight that I've known over the years, and there's there's a lot of trepidation, a lot of nervousness because they don't know what's going on. But when I go around, I tell them that our our advantage is 12 points in Maricopa County, and that that's good, and, that, and they get a little bit more relaxed with what's going on. So. Uh, I wouldn't be a little bit surprised to see uh, when the early ballots, and they're going to be announced here pretty quick, that McSally might be down a little bit to cinema in the early balloting. But because of what's going on today, I think if she's down a little bit, she'll make it up today on the balloting that's going on. Of course, we don't expect that decision, that, that race to be we called anytime. We might be here until 11 o'clock or midnight tonight before we know that. But <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you so much for joining us. I appreciate it so much. Real pleasure. And thank you. Again, we're going to see a very tight race in many of these races. We'll give you very, uh, keep you up to date with whatever may actually come out as we continue throughout this evening. We're, of course, live at the GOP watch party, really. Michael Doudna, 12 News.